This is the brand new NVIDIA RTX 5090. It's the most powerful graphics card in the world. So it starts with the GTX 980, pretty much the best consumer grade graphics card that you could get in early 2015. But GTA 5 came out on PC. So does it suck today? While the game world does actually look pretty incredible considering this is absolutely lowest settings, PlayStation 2 water quality aside, it's pretty hard to appreciate it when it's running at 720p. It's literally running right now at 1.4 frames per second. I've seen but that's 149 points and an average of 1.5 frames per second. But the RTX 1490 is where things start to get extremely juicy because this guy, released in late 2022, has remained the gold standard in PC graphics right up until it has just been replaced now. Because if you see the RTX 20 series as the time where we first got started with ray tracing, then the RTX 40 series is when it became child's play. This is the point at which you could do ray tracing with far less of a performance hit. So it's becoming more 